Hello. <laughs> Hello, fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What Guan? We got to hop right into the reading because I'm pressed for time just a little bit. But I just want to get into two things. Okay, two things. The hair and the grippers. They on, bitch. Okay, they're on. I just, I really feel like I did my thing. It's a, it's a little pony. Okay, I really feel like I did my thing with this. Okay, honestly, truly. Okay, let's get back to important topics at hand right so we are here for some what's up with the planets uh content in regards to mars being in the sign of virgo let's check the calendar july 10th until august 26th now you know how these readings go you don't have to have mars and virgo to be up in here but your sun or your mars could be in a fire sign or one of the fire sign houses first fifth or the ninth thank you guys for all the continued support i appreciate it mm -mm -mm. um Booking and content information is in the description box down below. Now, what is Mars and Virgo about, about? Okay. Now, Mars and Virgo is take care of your responsibilities. Some of you guys are going to be a lot more driven to focus on practicality. All right. This is in regards to financial matters, um, taking care of your stability. There could be a... Um, a strong focus on that, meaning that it it might be hard for you to get, you know, out of grind mode, okay? And that is kind of what Mars and Virgo is. So don't be surprised if you are working some overtime, you're working some extra hours, you're um, having some late nights and early mornings, okay? Look at the look, look at the, look, the flexi rise on the bottom. I'm twisting the ends, trying something new because I want to say it's going to look like, and I really feel like it's going to pop, okay? Anyway, but, and I really feel like this is a, a good representation of it right so mars and virgo can have you a little bit more preoccupied and or focused on your financial matters or like i said your stability so much so that you're not taking the time out to enjoy life all right mars and virgo is the workaholic placement okay you, you, you tend to get lost in like i said work career finances stability so much so that you don't you know take time to you know take care of self whether it be enjoying yourself having fun chilling the fuck out okay resting or getting yourself did up you know leo season is approaching us and you know girl it's it's me day okay like <laughs> <laughs> me time is approaching and I can't only be fine around that time. So, you know, I had to, you know, the toes is done. The grippers is on. Get into the grippers. Get into the grippers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. And the hair is looking lovely. It's looking magnificent. Okay. And I feel good. So when you look good, you feel good. But like I said, be aware of being so, being too focused on money, um, job, bills not saying don't because mars and virgo is also about handling your responsibilities so once you handle the responsibilities have some fun go out get did up you know so we're going to pull one monthly oracle message card to see what the overall energy is going to be for you fire signs due to the fact that this is over a month some months and some change hold on okay All right, girl, let's shuffle the deck. Get your little spread going, right? Spirit guys, how's Mars and Virgo transit going to affect all fire signs? June 11th? June? Are you kidding me? July 10th until August 26th. How's Mars and Virgo transit going to affect all fire signs? July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023. Entrepreneur. Okay. I ain't going to put this down, but it did pop out. So some of y'all could have created your own stream of income. Some of you guys might be more focused on building your platform, building, building your business, working, uh, networking, um, doing new things as it relates to your um, business. Okay. For the ones that, like I said, have created their own stream of income. Some of y'all, there might be some urge like urge or calling for you to focus a little bit more on you know like i said your own streams of income if you have them some of y'all might be finding yourself moving towards that sp uh, space during this time wanting to generate your own income for yourself hold up what's this they're draining your energy now business owners right makers of thy own money y'all need to be careful about um how do I say this, girl? Being politically correct, all right? Um, 
The first thing that's coming to mind is if you are someone that, like I said, is managing your own income, but you still work a nine to five, you, you put your energy out into other things as well as being an entrepreneur, you need to be careful about being so drained from whatever it is, okay, people, places, and or things, and you're not investing in your business, you're not investing in your platform, you're not investing in your own dreams, your own interests, your own, uh, I was about to say your own lobbies, <laughs> your own hobbies, okay? Spirit guys, um, how does Mars and Virgo transit affecting our fire signs July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023? Okay, girl, let's speed it up. Due dates and deadlines. Please be aware of things that are due, girl. Be aware of dates, okay, during this transit. Make sure that you are staying um, on time. Practicing time management, being aware of when things are, like I said, are due. You need to have things turned in, all right? I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Create is on the bottom of the I'm telling y'all, for those of you guys who, like I said, have created your own stream of income for yourself, invest in your business, invest in your platform, try to do new things, come up with new ideas, new um, creative ways of doing things, okay? Yeah, girl, you're on the clock, okay? <laughs> with due days and deadlines, it's... it's um. I don't know. Some of y'all, this could be um, being given some sort of project and you had to have it done in a, a certain amount of time. Um, some of y'all want to have a certain project done in a certain amount of time. Like this for me is like you could be doing a soft launch in regards to something, putting out a new product, um, putting up some new uh, services or something like that. I'm here. Okay. I like it. I like it for you fire signs. Okay. Yeah, let's use this one. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick shuffle that way I know you ain't got no residue. Okay. I feel like I got too big of a face. Like I know my head is big, but I realize that my face is too. I've been looking at pictures when I was thinner. I can't believe I'm at that age. But I've been looking at uh which I wouldn't prefer. I prefer me now a little meaty versus me when I was thin or slim. <clears throat> okay. Cause I got too big of a head, too big of a face. I got a big face. A lot of land, a lot of acreage. Spirit guys, how's Mars and Virgo transit affecting all fire signs July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023? Ace of Swords with the Eight of Wands. So I see mail, mail. Please make sure that you are checking your mail and or your email. Um, I do see some of you guys ordering some things online, getting something shipped to you. I see reservations. I see documents. I see... Contracts, policies. Mm -hmm. I also said, Ada Wan said, somebody here planning a honeymoon or a baby moon. Sounds like me. No, it's not. It's it's, it's really not, girl. Y'all know I'm in the Sahara right now. Three years celibate. Yay. Anyway, it's a good thing. A, a baby moon. I would love that. You know what I'm saying? Go on a really, a really nice trip, a really serene trip with men's. You know, I, I think the baby moon is like, is it when you find out that you're pregnant, or just any time when you're pregnant? I would like that though. I really would think that's so. I think that's so cute and intimate. All right. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I see some. Uh. Some lover. Ah. I see like. Um. Oh, girl. I'm putting. I'm putting them. I'm putting them on the spot, girl. I'm putting the business out. You ain't hear it from me. I see someone, uh, some people here in connections in like their uh, significant other, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their man's, their shorty is planning a romantic evening or a getaway. That's really cute. I like that. Okay. They got the reservation set. But overall, I do see a lot of you guys, fire signs, having this urge to, you know, girl, I'm going to get creative, okay? That's a new new hairstyle. Now, I've done this ponytail before, but I decided to twist these up and curl these at the end. Now, I don't know if I'm going to take these twists out and then bam, see how it look, because I know it's going to look good, right? Um, Or if I'm going to keep the twist in, because I like how it looks with the twist in. I do, right? Um, Also, some other things, but I'm going to keep silent on that. Y'all see it when it come out. Anyway, um, I just see some of y'all are going to start executing certain visions, ideas. Um, 
interest that you have, okay? I see you either putting it on paper, right? Or you're you putting some action behind it. Ace of Pentacles is showing up on the bottom of the deck. There's three aces. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, damn, you making shit happen. Eight of Wands. Sag, I could be talking to you, um, but Fire Signs, I definitely see you um, either needing to or you are putting some action towards, like I said, Moon Card and the Seven of Cups. Certain um, ideas um, and creative visions creative ideas that you could be having during this time whether it's how you doing your hair um like i said in regards to uh your business platforms content um how you're dressing you're wearing different colors you shopping at different shops look at you okay before i, I say that hold on spirit guys how's mars and regular transit affecting all fire signs july 10th until august 26th in the year 2023 Queen of Pentacles in the Strength card. Uh, ladies specifically, okay, either uh, fire signs, you got a very independent woman, okay, by your side. I'm probably talking to the men, but if women is just these, then that's okay, right? Or women, I just see y'all um, a lot more focused. We both got a bag, but my bag is more bigger, okay? Is that how the lyric go? I think so. It's, it's Kanye West, but... Some of y'all, I feel like if you are in a relationship, you're with someone who I feel like is, you know, stable, right? They're financially stable. They got a good job anyway. Um, but yeah, strength card and the queen of pentacles. Some of y'all, like I said, the ladies could be a lot more. Like, you know what? I need to get these brakes changed or I need to get this window fixed or I need to go ahead and... Um, I don't know why I just heard to get this get this surgery. I don't know, girl. It could be cosmetic or it could be necessary. You know, like, you know, uh, oh, my God. I hate how that came out. <laughs> I hate how it came out. Cosmetic or like, you know, girl, I was injured. Okay. And it didn't do, do your thing. Okay. That was. <laughs> Two of Wands. Hi, Aries. Hi, Leo. Mm-hmm. Put in work. Put it in the dirt. Two of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you guys, there are certain goals that you are hitting during this transit or you are trying to hit. Whether it be you trying to reach a certain amount in your savings account. You are trying to um, purchase something for yourself. Ace of Pentacles came out, so it could be tangible items, right? Okay. That took a turn. Uh, Aries and Sag and Leo, uh, some of y'all, I think you know that a certain connection is, you know, um, running out of time. Okay, it's about to expire. Please check your refrigerators. There could be some old food in there. Um, but some of y'all, something here is, you know, girl, it, it's headed, it, it's declining. A certain connection or relationship with someone is in its dating. Uh, some of y'all, this could be the case with a water sign, a Scorpio Cancer, um, or an earth sign, Virgo. Maybe, maybe Capricorn. Okay, I'm gonna get off that. Spirit guys, how is this Mars and Virgo transit affecting all fire signs July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023? Five of Pentacles, lovely, with the Queen of Swords. Hmm. I see some of you guys figuring out a way to get out of a tough financial spot. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Sun card. This for me is like, I had no job. I got hired. Um, I just see a uh, fire sign, specifically you, Leo. Some Something here solves your money problems. Like I said, this is you, you know, getting a job, Okay. Um, or with the Ace of Wands and the Sun card, I'm just seeing you start to behave and to move differently as it relates to financial opportunities. Um, yeah, this for me is like, you know what, girl? I'm going to go ahead and start the business. I'm going to go ahead and put the content out. I'm going to go ahead and open back up for services, something like that. And the, and the people come through, the clientele, all right? Because of the Ace of Wands and the Sun card, some of y'all, I feel like there's something here very creative about you that you do well, that you can monetize, okay? So you have customers. Spirit guys, how's Mars and Virgo transit affecting all fire signs? July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023. 
everything is figure outable. Because you're the man with the plan, whether you are a woman or a man. You heard the bars just now. Unintentionally. Um, divine masculine, hello. But there is a woman in that card. Some of y'all are tomboys, okay? Or, you know, you just identify more with your masculine energy. Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I see some of y'all figuring out a solution to some money problems that you're having with the Nine of Swords in reverse that takes you out of this worrying um, concern energy. It's like, girl, how am I going to pay these bills? And with the Emperor card and the Ace of Swords, I don't know. You handle your business. You start budgeting. Hey, girl, it might be noodles and fruit today. Okay. <laughs> or you just doing better money management. Okay. And like I said, you get out of a certain financial pickle. Nine of Swords in reverse. Six of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. And the Three of Swords. All right. Damn. Um. Oh, girl. Here it is. Here it is. Um, I do see that some of you guys, there was a certain situation, ship, relationship, whatever, with someone here from your past. I ain't got time for it. <laughs> I just feel like some of you guys no longer are letting a certain situation get you down in regards to a past uh, connection or relationship with someone. Some of y'all, this is with family. You know, it's like you're not being concerned about what family has to say about you anymore. You're not concerned about how family feels towards you. With the three of swords, family, that's hurt you. Okay, like, girl, I don't give a fuck, you know? You don't care about what I do for work, girl? You don't pay these bills, all right? You ain't taking care of me, you know? Like, you know, I don't want to get too too deep. We, we've done that already. Page of swords, five of swords, knight of pentacles, and ten of cups. Because people do be talking. Some of y'all do have some gossipy family members. Um, yeah, I really feel like don't really bother you. Nine of Swords in reverse, you don't let them bother you because with the Ace of Swords, I hate to say it. Some of y'all have cut these people off or just uh, with the Emperor card, if you're not going to get right, you're going to get left, okay? You just, you don't have time for the, fr I was about to say it, the fakery, Five of Swords is out here, Page of Swords. Sag, I see that very strongly for you because the Ten of Wands is out here. But Aries, you're out here as well. So, guys, how is Mars and Virgo transit affecting all fire signs July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023? Three of Wands. Hello again, Aries. Is this your reading? With the Three of Cups. Yeah, I see some of y'all getting tired of feeling this energy of loss, lostness. Like, I don't know where I'm going. Where am I at? How are things going to work out with the Emperor card? You know what you're saying? I'm the big Don. Like, I'm a boss Emperor card. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this whole single parent thing by myself. Or, you know, um, I've created my own business. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm managing a lot of things. This is the Renaissance man slash woman, okay? It's like some of y'all like, girl, I made it this far. So I can't let certain situations to where I don't know the way out yet get me too like, you know, ah, you know, worrisome. Okay. 18, 18 confirmations. Three of cups, chariot, eight of swords. And I do see that you have separated yourself from people that I'm, I'm going to say, girl, they don't know where they're going in life or you need to. Three of Cups, Chariot, and the Eight of Swords. Um, some of y'all, oh, girl, I see could have did this with someone already. Heavy on the earth, water, and air. There's certain people that I feel like you have distanced yourself from and or cut off. Because it's like you don't you don't like to be around people that don't know what, what they want out of life. Because I feel like sometimes, you know, you get lost. There's nothing I feel like irregular about that but with the three cups cherry and the eight eight of swords i'm not trying to be no follower i'm not just trying to you know be around people that's doing the same thing so i can feel comfortable and not you know making no moves does that make sense it's like a lot of y'all whether it be people places or things are gonna cut out this five of pentacles energy like i said feeling lost feeling um hopeless feeling like you don't have enough with the emperor cards like well i gotta make a way Sarah, guys, how is this Mars and Virgo transit affecting our fire signs July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023? Knight of Pentacles. I got to buckle down with the Knight of Souls on the bottom of the deck. It's like I got to, uh, I'm hearing it. Like I said, put action behind my words, put actions behind my thoughts. But I also have to, sometimes I got to do the weight gain. 
You know, I can't um, expect everything all at once. Sometimes things are going to take a while to come to fruition. The fruition that I want, okay? Because the emperor, that's a boss. The emperor has an empire, a kingdom, all right? It's going to take some time for you to get to fire signs. Aries, I, feel like, I really feel like I'm talking to you. Because you know what you is. You are... <laughs> You are very like, I, it's my money and I want it now. You are the person that's going to get it done. You are the person that's going to stay the latest. But, you know, sometimes you get a little bit impatient. Okay? Let me talk to everybody because I don't want y'all to feel like I'm singling y'all out. Leo, sometimes you a little bit prideful and egotistical about your shit. Okay? Why aren't people noticing me? Why aren't people recognizing me? It's me. Shut your ass up. You're not the only person out here. It's sad. Sometimes you tend to get distracted. Okay, it's hard for you to keep your eye on the ball. A lot of things, shiny things specifically, a lot of things tend to, you know, keep you distracted from that one goal that you're trying to get towards. Ladies, Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Empress, and the Four of Pentacles, please be careful about blowing through your money to the point to where at the Five of Pentacles, I don't know how I'm going to pay these bills, okay? Seven of Pentacles, put some money to the side, save your money. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all could be going through some sort of spiritual lesson in regards to that. Uh, like I said, not blowing through your money, being able to hold on to your money. Spirit guys, how is this Mars and Virgo transit affecting all fire signs July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023? Nine of Swords, and it's still in reverse. I like that with the Queen of Cups. So gone over you. Is that it? Is is that what I meant to say? Because I meant to say, like, you know, you're over this person. Is that the right song? <laughs> is that the right song choice? I do see that some of you guys aren't letting someone here outside your energy bother you anymore. You're not bothered by somebody anymore. You know what this reminds me of? And I see it out in the cars. This to me is that somebody at your job that you don't like and they quit it to get fired. You like, yes, I ain't gotta worry about coming in the scene, this motherfucker, okay? Or just don't come in, you know, and, and they like, oh, you know, they got sick. Ah, that's so horrible. You're wrong. You're wrong. But I understand. If you accept something being over five signs, it'll be easier for you to move on. I do see, I, I hope you're not Delulu. I do see some fire signs here needing to recognize that about a certain connection with somebody. Death card to a cups, queen of cups. It's like... Um, I don't know if things are ever going to get better with this person. Well, girl, accept that, okay? I'm not saying don't work through certain situations with your man, your shorty, your husband, your wife. I'm not saying that. But if this person is literally causing you strife by, you know, just having to deal with them, talk to them, um, handle problems with them, you just want to be miserable? Okay, no, get the headache out your life. Some of y'all, this is the case. If you feel this way, because you know you do, this is the case if you feel this way about an earth, Water or air sign, specifically Taurus is very strong. Um, what's out here? Gemini, Cancer, and Scorpio. Some of y'all already did this. You cut somebody out of your life that was just like, oh, girl, you just come with too much. You do too much, okay? Why are you fighting with me at cheesecake? I was about to say cheesesteak because I'm hungry. Spirit guys. How is this Mars and Virgo transit affecting all fire signs July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023? That was slow motion just now. King of Wands. The men are out here. I don't like this, though. Men. Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, and the King of Wands. Uh, I'm about to go back to what I know best. That's what I'm hearing. You need to be careful about that. Um, it's like with the Emperor card, in order for you to be in your divine energy with the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, I'm hearing you're going to have to take some L's. Um, you kind of going to have to be in your worm phase as the people growing locks would call it. Okay. Before you really get to the place that you want to be in. And some, you know, fire sign men might be like, hell no. Ace of swords, three of wands and the uh, king of wands with the seven of swords. So instead of you turning over a new leaf, you go back to something that's comfortable. Um, something that, you know, um, you know, um, you can tolerate. Mm, seven is this is this small money seven of swords six of pentacles and the five of cups is either you go back to being taken care of you just waiting you just got your hand out oh or you just go back to a certain situation where it's like ah, i'm not happy but you know who is that's life 
maybe your life, sir, okay, <laughs> see, uh, or ma'am, because some of y'all just could be a man, or you need to be, you're being warned about a man that is like this. Aries, I'm definitely talking to you. It's just you out here, girl. This is just your room. This is in regards to an, uh, an air sign, Gemini, but Aquarius is out here as well. Um, Virgo or Taurus or water, Cancer or Scorpio. Spirit, guys, how is this Mars and Virgo transit affecting all five signs? July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023. The magician, the make it happen captain. I like this, especially combined with the Emperor and an Ace. Queen of Swords is showing up. Yeah, I see some of y'all going to figure uh, figure your way out of a certain financial bind. I'm hearing, I'm seeing you don't have enough money for something. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, you're going to have to gather the money from somewhere. Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Page of Wands, whether it be working more hours. Um, I'm hearing booking more clients. Or you're going to be like, I'm tired. I'm tired, girl. But hey, girl, the rent is due. That's what it look like, okay? I'm seeing the same thing for the uh, men. I only say the women because the Queen of Swords is out here, okay? But I'm seeing the same thing for the men. Nor if you got some sort of financial buying, you're going to have to work, okay? Last card. Spirit, guys, how is this Mars and Virgo transit affecting all fire signs July 10th until August 26th in the year 2023? Mystic is in the building. This is crazy. To have the magician and the high priestess beside each other, that's a powerful person. With the emperor, this means like, girl, they gonna have their way. Because for one, this person doesn't take no for an answer. And for two, it's like, if I can't get it from here, I'm gonna get it from there. I'm gonna find somewhere to get it from, though, okay? It's for me, it's like, okay, you can't provide the, the service. I'm going to call somebody that can. Uh, this for me is like, let's say, like, um, you used to go into uh, one place to get your car fixed. Um, they're not a able to fix it. Or they don't fix it to your liking. Okay, boom, bam, I'm going to call somewhere else. It's like, if I can't get it handled here, I'm going to find somewhere where I can get it handled. Some of y'all like that. Uh, problem solvers. Boom. Okay. Emperor, Nine of Swords, High Priestess. Um... I don't know. Some of y'all could have been having some anxiety in regards to a certain uh, situation. Ace of Cups. It's like you get rest assured in regards to something. Okay, your mind was going uh, array. Is that the word? Ed and cut that out. I don't like the way it sounded. Array. Jesus Christ. And, you know, it's kind of like you get, like I said, a rest assurance in regards to something. This for me is, like I said, you're facing some sort of hardship in regards to finances. And, you know, the money come through in some sort of way. Manifestation, maybe. High priest and the magician. I don't know, girl. You don't want us to know. High priest is out here, okay? Or it's just I feel like you are no longer stressing about um, how something here is going to turn out. Like, I need, I need to know when you're like, you know what, girl? Whatever happens, happens. With the Ace of Cups, I, some of y'all, this could be in regards to love, you know? Um, like I said, a lot of y'all, this is in regards to finances. I gotta get out of here. Fire signs, this was your Mars and Virgo transit reading. Um, Mars and, Mars and uh, fire sign is definitely out here with the Emperor card. But some of y'all could also have Mercury. The magician, you could have Mercury in a fire sign or a fire sign house. Like the video, leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe. My pricing and content information is down below in the description box. Look at him. Okay, I'm going to tell you later. <laughs> Bye.